Welcome along to this video walkthrough of our 2007 Willoughby Herald. It's a 30 by 10 two bed from, as I say, 2007. It's priced at 7865. We've had a bit of refurb done in here with the carpets, so I thought we'd get a video done and show you how it's currently looking. So we're going to have a look at the layout and the condition, and I'll point a few things out. So let's get on. So you join me here in the living room area where you can see we've got this new carpet, nice grey carpet which really lifts the caravan. We can do that on any caravan so just bear that in mind if you're looking at something that looks a bit tired, sticking a bit of new carpet down really changes things. Over on the left hand side here on the door side front you can see we've got this fitted L shaped seating area. Upholstery on here is absolutely fine. We've then also got a fitted seating area over for the dining area as well, as you can see. A bit of Velcro pe peeling off the back of the seating, and there is a button, a couple of buttons missing. But other than that, it's pretty decent quality. We do have a gas fire missing, as you can see. So we would usually have one there. Um, the previous owners have taken that out. You could fit a gas fire back in there, or you could fit an electric one in there. Um, you probably have to have a socket fitted, uh, but that would be an option to do that instead. Got plenty of windows around the front of the caravan letting in a lot of natural light and on the whole it is in fairly good condition there's a few bits and pieces like edging um, the doors are okay because they're not delaminating doors which is really good there's just a few edges around the place that have just been knocked a little bit that could do a bit of a tidy up the dining table edge has gone as you can see but the dining table top could be replaced if required Coming through from the living room area to the kitchen, you can see we've got a decent amount of cupboard space. Fairly standard 10 foot kitchen really with your cupboards along one side and then the oven on the opposite side. But we have got an under counter fridge as you can see. Opposite the kitchen on the right there, we've then got our gas oven and grill and hob. With a dummy extractor, so it's just a little chimney, chimney hole there. As I say, these doors have a hard edge on them, as you can see, so no issue with delamination there. Carpet is, as I say, new from the living room area, and then the lounge, uh, sorry, in the lounge, and then the hallway and kitchen have got vinyl through them. Um, there's a one exterior door which comes in here into the hallway area. And then going to the back of the caravan, across the back here is our main bedroom where again we've got the new carpet. We've had a new bed fitted in here and a new recovered mattress here as well, which um, I was waiting on getting done before the video. So as you can see, this has been tidied up in here a bit as well, which is nice. Fairly standard van really um, with the fittings, uh, with it being a 10 foot wide, a little bit more basic than some of the 12s. But we have got a decent size wardrobe over here in the corner with three doors on it and then our window on the back of the caravan. Not got any curtains there. Um, just looking in the wardrobe just to see if there's any curtains in the wardrobe. I don't see any in there. Um, so perhaps we've not got any curtains for this room. Coming back out of the main bedroom and turning to our right is the twin room fairly self explanatory with two single beds window on the off side of the caravan there is a bit of rust to some of the light fittings that are sort of a chromey stainless steel kind of material um, because they've been by the coast probably there is a bit of rust to them throughout the caravan we've got a wardrobe cupboard here on the left which is doesn't go to the floor doesn't go to the ceiling but it is kind of like a three-quarter length um, wardrobe there which is a decent size and I've got a bit of a wallpaper tear on my left, right hand side there as well Ooh. coming back up towards the kitchen and turning to our right hand side we've then got our bathroom so that's where we find our, our sink and toilet and shower so turning to the shower itself on, at the start here you can see we've got a sliding door which kind of pivots or is fixed on right the right end and splits in the middle there And then we've got toilet and sink, as you would expect. And as I say, vinyl then comes through the bathroom and then all the way through the hallway and through the kitchen. Uh, but all of our carpets are replaced with new ones. So that is uh, really bringing the caravan up a bit. So I'm going to jump outside now and have a look at the exterior. Just looking at the outside of the Herald. Very clean across the front. 
Got some aerial cabling around the front offside corner there with a little bit of an aerial mount at the top left over from where it was fitted before it came here. Coming down the non-door side, fairly free from any significant damage as you can see. Uh, the back of the caravan is fairly clean and tidy as well, a couple of scuffs but looks to be okay. I've got a gas regulator on the back here which we would usually be removing as part of our testing process so that you can get a new one fitted when you get the caravan. We don't want somebody to just connect up the gas bottles and away you go so we do usually take them off. A couple of holes to fill in there, all the missing screws, a little bit of a mark on the panel and a bit of a scuff by the door. But on the whole, for the age of the caravan being sort of 15, 16 years old, it's not too bad. Looking at the chassis, so it's a standard chassis, but it looks like it's been painted or oiled in its time, as you can see. So, whilst there's probably a bit of surface rust, it actually looks fairly decent as it's been looked after. It makes a big difference when someone has been oiling or painting the chassis whilst they've had ownership of it rather than just leaving it to rust. So that's always good. So that's been our Willoughby Herald 30 by 10 two bed from 2007. Price at 7865. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. We're only too happy to help. Hopefully, see you soon.